Hello people, right, we have another photography thing now, right, and this is taking a little while to get here, and it's from Amazon, but it come from China, so it's taking a little while, not as long as Wish stuff does, this is probably taking just over a week, so not too bad at all, not a lot of tracking info though, even though it's tracked by uh, Royal Mail when it gets to this country, <coughs> to be honest, it's just in a bag, it's not even in a box inside, which least expected a box for what I paid. It wasn't a massive amount, but at least expected a box. <clears throat> right. Seems to be quite well done though, I guess. It looks like it's already built up. And it looks a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. Okay. Let's get him unwrapped. like something off of the uh, BMX. Okay. Alright. So this is not got any well, I was expecting some rubber feet on the bottom of there for if you decide to put it down. Um I'm not sure how they go on it. Okay. Right. So this is to put your gimbal on top of the gimbal handle. Or it can be a camera handle, you can put the camera on there. I'm not sure this is going to work with my big gimbal because <laughs> my big gimbal is big. So I've got both of them behind me, so we will try them and see what happens. If I can get it undone. So much for that. It would have been better having a, a box rather than plastic bags, I think. Um, these are sort of got a certain way around, so if they don't screw on properly in the right place. Okay. <laughs> Which, like that one, doesn't. is a bit sucky. <laughs> so that's going to be uncomfortable straight away. But looking at this, you can undo these bits here, I've got some allen keys so I could probably turn those grips around. Right, so that's sort of the way it goes. For starters, that's not going to fit on my gimbal at all. It's meant to be two. Oh, right, okay, so there's a smaller one there. Um, let's try the small gimbal first, which shouldn't be an issue at all, because it's only a little one. The little baby one. perfectly fine that's not a good problem at all for that little baby small gimbal which I'm hoping that this gimbal will hold the next camera I want to get which is the Sigma FP if you don't know about it have a little read up on it fantastic don't get the FPL because it's not as good all right let's just spin the gimbal because I think it'll probably be quicker why not lock this gimbal down <laughs> right is he off he is off Again, let's put me a uh, little. Come on, there we go. Right, okay, that is over there. Right, big whacking, great professional gimbal. Not the, I suppose I could lay it down, couldn't I, to put it on? 
but I like to make things awkward. <laughs> Let's get him around the right way. That's a much easier way of doing it, sort of on its side. You do sort of want it not all laying flat because it's not going to... Right, okay. So this is going to have a working great camera on the top of it if I don't use the other one. It's a ridiculously heavy gimbal as it is. That's not too bad. I'll make sure there's no flex in, in that tube. There is a little bit, just where it wants to go a bit tighter. But I got a funny thing, it's just spinning on that. Okay, so that's gone a bit tighter. Right. My gimbal's got rubber on the bottom. Well, it did have rubber on the bottom. It doesn't so much now because this little thing has just sort of shaved it off a little bit. But, that works. I'm happy with that. Can we see? That is going to make my life a lot easier carrying this damn thing. <laughs> um, your other options are handles that go sort of on this gimbal is going to be here. This does have a mountain screw up here somewhere. Where is he? But it, um, there. It's a bit too close to the actual gimbal, so I don't really know what that's for. Um, that's pretty cool. So if you had the grip that goes up higher, it would go down and it would damage your rubber on your handles, but you'd have a higher handle, but then I suppose that would get in the way of the gimbal. This doesn't work. I think that's all right. I really do think that's fine. There's no problem with that at all. It holds it absolutely perfectly and should, I reckon, just get my screen on there as well. So, and plus it's got a nice little base when you put it down. Plus you can still use the centre hand if you want, but that just makes it a lot easier. A lot easier, makes it a lot lighter as well. Okay, well, actually impressed with that. It's not bad build quality. It's You've got some, uh, oh, I don't know what size they're big ones, aren't they? Some mounting points there. Lucky I've got some big screws in there. <laughs> but what size? There's some whacking great size. I don't know why you would have that. But, just throw that in there so I don't lose it. It'll probably just keep going down to be quite honest. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. I will leave it like that. Anyway. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe.